One of the questions I think I've been asked the most over the last two years through these challenging times is how do we get through it? And um, I've heard this from clients, from coaching clients, from uh, attendees on webinars and training sessions. And whilst there's no one size fits all, if this is occurring to you, especially now at the end of the year, how do you get through this? Is this, this is continuing on. How do you get through this? What I share with students and with clients sometimes are just some of the ways that have been working for me. Whether that works for them is for them to, to test out, but I'm going to share one of them with you in the session today. And it's about writing a journal, particularly something called morning pages. So if this is for you, keep watching. Hey, Mike Blissett here, founder of Speak Like a Pro Online, sharing ideas, tools, techniques to help you speak with more confidence, make a bigger impact and grow your business with online video. So yeah, it's challenging at the moment. We all thought at the beginning, I can certainly um, think back to when this whole started. Uh, we thought six weeks and we'll be okay, we'll be through this. And then here we are almost two years later and it's still, uh, this is still the new reality, the new norm and it's about us as human beings adapting to it. So how can you adapt to something like that in the present situation? Now, as I said in the intro, it's not a one size fits all, but it's finding some tools and techniques that may work for you and then just adopting them and over a period of time noticing the difference. So one thing I did at the beginning of 2021, uh, I'm just thinking back, this has been going two years now, at the beginning of 2021 was I bought a book, I started working for a book called The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. Now I'm not going to be reviewing this book, certainly not in this video, but what I wanted to share with you in the video is one of the techniques that is one of the central pillars of the book and I adopted and I've been using it every single day since I began reading this book on the 2nd of January. Remember, that was my first entry in uh, a, a, um, as a result of doing that exercise on the 2nd of January 2021. So it's now almost a year I've been doing this exercise uh, every single day. And what is it? Well, it's writing one of these. It's writing a journal. Now, I'm not going to open it up because it's full of um, all my personal thoughts and ideas. And but the thing is, this regularity of writing a journal and particularly what Julia talked about morning pages is or has been the difference that has made such a huge difference to me. And I know it makes a difference to other people because I, I wasn't the first person to um, think of this or start doing it. I've had so many clients and colleagues and friends through the years mention uh, this idea, this concept of morning pages, and they always told me where it came from, Julia Cameron, The Artist's Way. And so I knew it was around uh, my reality, but I never quite knew or uh, what it was because I didn't read the book and I didn't really uh, journal, certainly not every day and certainly not in the way that Julia suggests in the book. So in this video, I just want to share some ideas around uh, what I've, uh, how I implement uh, morning pages, and then also some of the results, some of the ideas, not necessarily results, but some of the things that I become aware of as a result of uh, doing them every single day and uh, just noticing the difference in that it does help me navigate through these, what are challenging times for us all. So number one, just to share what morning pages are. Now, it's not necessarily a journal where you write down what you've been doing the previous day and what your plans are for today and your business objectives. You, you can journal like that if you want to and that's completely fine. But what Julia uh, is suggesting in Morning Pages, and this is on chapter one in the book if you ever got the book, uh, is the concept of as soon as you wake up, made a cup of tea or coffee or whatever it is, and then sit down and start writing three pages of almost like stream of consciousness, th stream of thought, pages. So these can include things you're doing and things you've done and uh, how you're feeling, but it really is whatever's occurring to your mind at that moment, let it trip out of the end of your pen or your pencil and, and write it on the page. And one of the questions she did get asked in the book was, can you do the same thing 
on a computer or, or, or a, an iPad, for example? And the answer is, well, sure, you can, but in her view of the world, how this connects and has its biggest impact is actually uh, the visceral uh, uh, feeling of, of holding a pen or a pencil and writing on a piece of paper, on, writing on a page, because it just goes somehow, and I'm not a psychologist, psychologist but deeper into your stream of consciousness. So that's the concept of morning pages. So to write three pages, as soon as you wake up, before you check the news or your emails or your bank account or whatever you do, most people wake up in the morning and the first thing they do, and I, I certainly have a habit of doing that and I try to avoid doing that, but the, the habit is as soon as we wake up, I reach for the phone, which is usually on a bedside table or cabinet. And part of the reason I think a lot of us do this, and I know this for my clients and I certainly do as well, when I have an alarm, in the morning, I don't usually, but when I need to get up for a specific reason at an earlier time, I set an alarm and that's always on my phone. So it's just habitual that the first thing to reach for is the phone. But the thing is, um, when you've reached for your phone and you've read the news and checked your emails and social media or done whatever you do, however you do that first thing in the morning when you reach for that phone, if then you start writing morning pages, it's, it's after, being impressed with uh, what's happening in the news, what's happening in the world, what's happening in social media, what's happening with your friends and the posts that they put and uh, posts you liked or disliked or all this stuff. And then you write the morning pages from that perspective. And that's not really the, um, the reason behind what Julia described morning pages to be and that it's that first stream of consciousness. The idea is that if when you wake up in the morning and you've got yourself settled, I usually make a cup of coffee and then write for about half an hour, 40 minutes, three pages, stream of consciousness, and it just kind of downloads all the, whatever it might be first thing in the morning. It could be brain fog, it could be waking up, uh, it could be um, maybe a dream you've had in the night, it could be anything, how are you feeling that day? Um, in the you know the sun outside or, or overcast a rainy day or whatever whatever these stream of thought consciousness thoughts are write them down and the idea with uh, morning pages is once you've done that you've cleared the way to have a more productive day whatever that may be in a creative terms whether it's in business terms whether it's in whatever you plan to do with your day it just frees up uh, you from um, having whatever thoughts you have first thing in the morning and then dragging them through the rest of the morning and the day because you've downloaded them and just put them in the morning pages uh, then it kind of it frees you up to have the day that you're going to have now within the the artist way book part of the reason for doing the exercise of uh, writing morning pages is, of course, to do something with it. So not necessarily to do something with the morning pages, but for have, to have the morning pages open up and reconnect and realign uh, the reader with their own sense of wonder, uh, of creativity, of that inner intuition. And so whether one of those readers, such as myself, is a writer or a speaker or a coach or you make videos or whatever you might do, um, the idea of morning pages is, and within the book, The Artist's Way, that it will reconnect you with your sense of creativity so that when you uh, are, are looking to discover that and really connect with what you want to achieve, then you can do just that. So that's what I've been doing every day since the 2nd of January. So I've just got a few weeks to go and it will be one year since I began my daily um, 30, 40 minutes worth of uh, writing morning pages each and every day. So what results have I got? What things have occurred to me? What's happened as a result of writing these morning pages? So I think the first thing that I can say is that writing morning pages each and every day over the last almost one year now has really helped. It's helped me get through these these uncertain times, these challenging times, as it is for everybody. I know working with my clients and doing my workshops and webinars, I'm, I'm still keep, kept doing those. It's been a really busy year. Um, it's just helped me navigate through that, those uncertainties and those challenges. 
as well and just keep um, turning up and, and making my difference and feeling a sense of being grounded myself. So it's really helped. Um, you may have seen or you may have noticed that I haven't been on uh, so much social media over the last few months and I haven't really uh, been uploading many videos or very few videos over the last year. And the reason for that is that I've been, as well as navigating through these uncertain, challenging times, I've moved my business uh, pretty much 100% from what was offline, so in-house coaching in organizations and uh, coaching with people face-to-face uh, -face in various locations, hotel coffee shops and, and business lounges and, and offices and all this stuff, and I moved it all online. So this year has been really busy. I still done as much coaching. In fact, I think I've done a little bit more coaching this year than I did for the last few years, and it's all been on Zoom or Skype or Teams, mostly on Zoom. And uh, webinars, I do two, sometimes three of them every single week. So I've still been delivering training. Um, it's just been in a different way. And what I've become aware of, and also with Writing Morning Pages become uh, more attuned to, is that actually it's kind of my sweet spot. I like doing this. I appreciate that I miss seeing people face to face and being in a room with a lot of people and, 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 and really enjoying that energy. Uh, I still get a version of it online, but obviously it's not the same as being in the room. And I, and I hope that at some point we will go back to that. But certainly with writing morning pages, it's helped me become aware of the shift and the change and how that actually, it's not shifting and changing just because I have to, even though we have to, but actually I've shifted and changed into something I really, really enjoy. So I think morning pages has helped me kind of settle my nerves a little bit and, and being nervous about the the uncertainty and that sometimes uh, stepping into this uncertainty can give us some certainty about what we're doing. In fact, it reminds me of the writer, researcher and TED Talk uh, superstar Brené Brown when she talks about vulnerability and what she suggests is, and I'll leave a link to uh, a TED talk in the, in, in the show notes underneath. She talks about when we're feeling vulnerable, rather than uh, pulling back and withdrawing from it, because instinctively we try to, and I'm generalizing here, not feel so vulnerable. She suggests to lean into vulnerability, to lean into it, because that's where we'll find our true strength. And um, so I, all I can say is this year with morning pages and with shifting my former uh, mostly offline business, I've always done some online coaching and I've had my coaching programs and, and, and done a few webinars this, this year. In fact, almost two years now, it's become 95% uh, of what I do is now online, on video, on my website, uh, individual coaching clients and also group sessions. And the other 5% is probably telephone, which it's always ever, it's always ever been um, since I've been coaching almost 20 years now. And so uh, I think Morning Pages has really helped with that. Now, the third area I think that Morning Pages has helped me with is the creativity in that I've had some ideas floating around my head for actually, to be really honest, years about writing some more books. And with the uh, process of, of writing morning pages, I've started to become aware of what those books and particularly what the next book uh, will be. And uh, one of my uh, intentions for the beginning of 2022 is to begin that process. Now, I'm not going to name the book at the moment. I'm not going to tell you anything about it, but just to say it's not a coaching book. It's not a personal development book. It's going to be uh, fiction. And um, it's something I'm super excited about. I've been kind of hedging around, circling around the edges of this for several years now thinking, I'm not really an author. I'm not really a writer. I don't really write fiction. Who am I to do this? All, all these kind of encouraging limiting beliefs or disencouraging limited beliefs uh, but really now is the time now is the time into is now is the time to lean into that vulnerability and uh, do the work sometimes when I, I do webinars I did one last night uh, and uh, I, I, in response to an answer that one of the delegates one of the students asked me uh, I was saying you know with writing books because they asked me a book question, 
Um, it's at the end of the day, uh, the process is simple. You sit down every day for a few hours and write. That's it. It's, it's, um, it's a magical thing to do, but the process is not magical. You sit down and you put in the work every single day. And, and it's, just to say that every single day, that's my process. It's not necessarily the process of every author, but it's certainly one I've noticed with many authors that I've worked with, and that's mine as well. So this is one of my intentions, and it's something that's come absolutely from writing morning pages over the past uh, year. Well, yeah, on 2nd of January in just a few weeks time, it will be my one year anniversary. I will celebrate. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to celebrate, but there probably could be some bubbles involved there as I uh, celebrate writing one year's worth of morning pages every single day. Even the days when I didn't feel like mo writing morning pages, I still wrote the morning pages. Even some days when I had a really busy early start with some time differences delivering content for clients overseas and so I started really early in the morning I didn't write morning pages in the morning I still wrote them a little bit later and so I still did it and what I get back from that is that uh, is the evidence that I followed through I actually I actually delivered on uh, the uh, the intention the promise the agreement the contract whatever you want to call it that I made with myself that Julia talks about in the beginning of the artist's way. So hopefully that has been useful for you. Remember, um, morning pages, it's not necessarily just a journal where you record what you're doing and what you're gonna do, um, but, but sometimes your stream of thought, your stream of consciousness, what's worrying you, what's, what's making you angry, what's making you fearful, equally what's making you happy, joyful, and looking forward. Uh, to the future as well. It's whatever comes to mind in that stream of consciousness when you first wake up in the morning. Three pages, whatever you do when you get to the last um, line, just put a full stop, a period at the end of it, and you are done for that day. And then the, the next job is to get on with the rest of your day. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, thank you so much for being here. One of my intentions going forward into 2022 is to get back into recording weekly content. So please, if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. If you haven't yet liked the video, please like it as well. And I'm looking forward to keeping in touch with you uh, in the next few months, in the next few years, as I record more and more content that hopefully will help you move forward in the way that you want to move forward in your life, in your business, in your speaking, in perhaps making videos as well. So until then, I'm Mike Blissett. Take care.